It's important to note that spreading misinformation, especially about health and fitness topics like running, can be harmful. Running is a popular form of exercise with numerous physical and mental health benefits when done correctly. Here are some common misconceptions about running that should be clarified. Myth 1. Running is bad for your knees. This is a common myth. When done with proper form and appropriate footwear, running is not inherently bad for your knees. In fact, it can strengthen the muscles around the knee joint, promoting joint health. Myth 2. You must run every day to be a runner. Rest and recovery are crucial components of any exercise routine, including running. Running every day without adequate rest can lead to burnout, overuse injuries and fatigue. It's essential to incorporate rest days into your running schedule. Myth 3. Running is only for the young. People of all ages can enjoy running. It's a versatile exercise that can be adapted to different fitness levels and goals. Many runners continue to enjoy the activity well into their senior years. Myth 4. You need expensive gear to be a runner. While quality running shoes are important to prevent injuries, you don't need to invest in expensive gear to start running. Comfortable clothing and appropriate footwear are sufficient for beginners. As you progress, you can invest in additional gear based on your specific needs. Myth 5. You have to run fast and far to get benefits. The health benefits of running can be achieved with various intensities and distances. Even short, slow runs can contribute to improved cardiovascular health, mental well-being and overall fitness. Myth 6. Running is the only way to get fit. While running is an excellent form of cardiovascular exercise, it's not the only way to stay fit. Mixing running with other activities like strength training, cycling or swimming can provide a well-rounded fitness routine. Myth 7. You shouldn't run if you're overweight. Running can be a suitable exercise for overweight individuals, but it's essential to start gradually and listen to your body. Consult with a healthcare professional or fitness expert to determine a safe and effective starting point. Always consult with a healthcare professional or fitness expert before starting a new exercise routine especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. Remember that everyone's body is different, and what works for one person may not work for another.